For power washing, watering lawns, water transfer, and more, you need this one half horsepower portable utility pump for your home and garden. You can use this model to pump water from ponds or lakes to water lawns, remove water from swimming pools, sump basins, bathtubs, and more. You can even use it to boost existing line pressure by as much as 40 PSI for power washing. This pump will plug into any standard 3-prong GFCI protected 115 volt outlet. It also has a priming plug that can be tightened with your hand, no tools needed. You will need a reinforced inlet hose of 15 feet or less. You will also need an outlet hose of 50 feet or less. The outlet hose can be standard 3 quarter inch garden hose, but the inlet hose must be reinforced to prevent it from collapsing when the pump is running. You can also use plastic or galvanized pipe for the inlet as long as it is no more than 15 feet from the water source. Today we are going to demonstrate one use for this pump by removing water from a fish tank. Attach the reinforced inlet hose to the pump inlet. The pump is marked with in and out to help you find the right opening. The pump should be located within 15 feet of the inlet source. A foot valve on the inlet hose is recommended for best operating efficiency, especially if the inlet hose is more than 5 feet long. Important! Be sure to prime the pump by removing the priming plug and adding water to the inlet cavity before you turn the pump on. Add enough water until it almost overflows the pump housing, and then replace the priming plug. Once the pump is primed, connect the pump to any GFCI protected 115 volt outlet. If the pump does not move the water after 30 seconds, turn the pump off and repeat the priming procedure. Caution! Before water is completely gone, turn the pump off. Do not run the pump dry. Note: If you are using the pump to boost water pressure for pressure washing, attach your water line to the pump inlet and turn the water on before starting the pump. The incoming water pressure will prime the pump. Maintenance. Pumps with more than 100 hours of operation may stop pumping or fail to start. This could be a result of worn brushes which are designed to be replaced periodically. You will find an extra set of brushes included in the carton for your convenience. To replace brushes, disconnect electrical cord from the 115 volt outlet. Remove brush caps with a flat head screwdriver. Remove old brush assembly. Insert new brush assembly. Replace brush caps. Questions? Check the instructions or call 1-800-742-5044.